Because I am hard, you will not like me. But the more you hate me, the more you will learn. All right, recruits, gather around for another school circle with Sergeant Gimpy. Today's lesson is going to be on weapon teams. These include such things as heavy machine guns, mortars, and anti-tank cannons. Weapon teams tend to have higher morale and they all have the ability to self-rally. However, weapon teams fire separately from other units in their hex. So for example, if this hero were stacked with this heavy machine gun and wished to fire on this half squad, they would do so separately. They would not combine their inherent firepower into a single attack. Weapon teams are also different from support weapons in that they cannot be traded between or captured like support weapons can be. Some weapon teams have a red arrow in their corner which depicts their firing arc. This can be changed by pivoting in their hex at a cost of one movement point per two vertices of the hex moved. So for example, if this 88 cannon wished to fire on this half squad, it could pivot in its hex one, two vertices at a cost of one movement point to change its firing arc. However, ordnance fire teams like the 88 would receive a plus one penalty to its fire. This word it would to include if it were to op fire. No weapon team is allowed to double time or low crawl or close assault a vehicle. Also, weapon teams with a caliber greater than 13 millimeters can't enter buildings or set up in buildings during the start of a scenario. Weapon teams also can't voluntarily enter melee, but if they are attacked in melee, machine gun weapon teams can defend and counterattack with their full inherent firepower. All other weapon teams can only defend at a firepower of one. The number to the left of the morale is a weapon team's HE equivalent. So for example, this AA gun would have a two. If there's a number to the left of that, so for example, on the AA gun, 2x2, this indicates that the weapon team can fire at more than one target in the same impulse as long as the targets are in the same or adjacent hexes. So for example, if this weapon team wished to fire on this half squad and leader, it could do so in the same impulse. But if the leader were farther away and no longer adjacent to the half squad, they could not do so and could only fire at a single target. That concludes today's lesson. Dismissed.